Pikachu feels the tension in the air and seems a little afraid. Hey guys, Psyche Pictures here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee! In the last episode, we got here to Seafoam Islands and explored all of it. There's only one thing left to do. But first, I want to check my party, see if I have... who I want in the lead. Hmm... I want both Chaos and Zapper in the lead, because this is an, this is going to be a difficult battle. Let's go. Articuno appeared. Sats rose. Go, Chaos! So let's go start off with Flamethrower. Use Reflect. I'm gonna use special attacks, so that was useless. Flamethrower! How much does it do? About half. Okay. And it got burned. Okay, I was thinking about using Will-O-Wisp to start off with, but... You took care of that, Arcanine! Nice. Go, flamethrower. Oh, ice beam, of course. Not very effective on me, and I thought this was going to be a lot more difficult than it was. Okay. Now I can start to catch it. Okay. Let's go and... Hmm. How do I want to go about this? Let's do Nanette Berry, to start off with. And then go into the bag for my Ultra Balls. Because I definitely don't want Articuno to escape. And as I saw with the Snorlax earlier, they actually can escape. Oh, come on. I hate when they do this. Hate when they move around erratically. I don't know. I did not do that. Okay. Come on. Articuno, get in the ball. Really? There we go. Come on. Shake more than three times. I said more than three, not two. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah, almost. So close. <clears throat> now, with Articuno! I actually forgot that I need to do a profile of it. Uh, Articuno! Huge special attack, huge special defense. It is such a good Pokemon. Out of the three legendary birds, I think this one is one of the best. Wow. Now when I start the... Profile, it goes and does that. Okay. 1,740 for everyone. Nice. Chaos and Zapper grew to level 52, but back to Arid Aerodactyl. Articuno. Articuno is such a good Pokemon. Out of all three of the legendary birds, I think this one is probably the more viable one. And out of everything that we go and do with the... Everything that you can do with the legendary birds, I think Articuno is definitely the one that has the most fun to it. Not only because of its ice typing, but because of its <clears throat> its incredible stats with special attack and special defense. And out of all of them, if I'm recalling correct, out of the three legendary birds, it's got the best special defense, which is really good for um for tanking but it's also really good if you're going up against let's say a zapdos it's got high special defense for taking on a bunch of other pokemon that it would so be weak against and i just really like 
um, Articuno. It's... It's not just a preference. It's... It's just that... Articuno is... It deal- it can deal out a lot of damage, it can tank a lot of hits, and so on and so forth. It's just a really good Pokémon. Alright. With that profile out of the way, I don't know what's coming up because I don't have my notes out. Whoops. Well, let's go this way to pick up this item. Three Ultra Balls, nice. And we're actually getting ahead out of... Seafoam Islands now. Because we've only got, like... This item, I think. And that's it. An ice Stone. Nice. Okay. And I think this is the exit. Oh, this item too. Okay. Super Lure. Which is completely useless to me. I don't use the lures. And here we are. The exit. Anything out right here? Okay. The exit! So that actually took a lot less time than I thought it would. Uh, let's get Chaos out of the lead. Chaos did extremely well against Articuno, which... Good, because they're... It's a higher level. It was a higher level. But... More so, I thought that Articuno was going to give me a hard time because of his high special attack and high special defense. I didn't think that uh, Chaos was going to do that much damage to it. That's why I thought I was like, oh, this is going to give me trouble, isn't it? And of course, as soon as I switch Zapper into the lead, it's a ground type that we're facing. Bone were Oh, jeez. Ow. Super effective, hit two times. Ugh. That's not good. Violet, get out here. Get out here, Violet. Thrash. Okay. Mega Drain it. Yeah. There we go. That's it, I knew you could do it. Got all my HP back. Nice. Alright, Wigglytuff. Um, I don't have a single poison type, do I? No. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep Violet then. Cause it's oh, uh, it's got good special attack, special defense. I mean, oops. Oh well, pedal dance. Oh, okay, that works. All right. Next up, Gloom. I'm definitely switching out to Chaos for that. And I don't get hit with fatigue. Yay! Chaos, go! Go Gloom! Alright, Flamethrower! Boom! That's it, I knew you could do it. Critical hit, too. Nice. No mercy at all. Ha <laughs> ha You expected me to show mercy. Heart scale, nice. So, this is something I want to talk about. Heart scales. We actually still have not encountered what we can do with the heart scales. We still have not. It's not going to be until near the end of our adventure that we can actually use heart scales. Which is... stupid. Go, slow bro! Okay. Zapper, go! Thunderbolt them! Thunderbolt it! Nice. Slowbro fainted. Sweet. 
Youch! Three Pokeballs. Wonder where she hid those. Hi there, bird keeper. I'm just gonna go and pick up this item. Three Ultra Balls. Nice. I think I just made up for all the Pokeballs I used with, um... With, uh... I think I just went and used... Got refunded all the Pokeballs that I just used on Articuno. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Thunderbolt. Alright. Sweet. Sand Slash Blue level 56. Getting up way up there in the levels. Dodrio. Okay. Let's go. Kaboom. Dodrio fainted. Nice. Violet grew level 53. Nice. Pidgeot. Keep battling. Nice. Okay. Thunderbolt it. Boom. Done. Hopefully we get to a Pokemon Center soon. My... My... My Zapper's really weak. Zapper's really weak. Oh no, what am I to do? Alright! Hello! Check out my buff physique! Uh, okay. Uh, why? Check out my star me! Go, Zapper! Thunderbolt! Alright. That's good. Okay. What next? Kingler! Let's go ahead and give that one a Thunderbolt, too. Kingler! Kingler. Bye! You're good with attack, not defense. Not special defense, I mean. Critical hit, too. Tentacruel. You actually might survive a Thunderbolt. You might, because you have high special defense. Oh, never mind. Tentacruel does have high su special defense, though, so... And it's pretty good. Wimpy! Who, me or you? Me or you? Okay, let's not waste any more time. Hopefully, we'll find other people that we can fight. Hi! Hi there. I'm gonna go on your island. I swam here for Cinnabar Island. I wish I could swim in this world. Missy! Since I'm Jolteon. Making Raichu a pretty bad choice. Okay. We got this. Uh, Thunderbolt. You have higher special attack. Yeah, I was gonna say, Jolteon's definitely surviving that. Pin Missile. Okay. Ow. Three times. It's a bit of a pinch. It might cry. Let's see how much Brick Break does. Oh, it did actually more! It actually did more! Okay, whatever. Yeah! Zapper grew to level 53. Sweet. I'm so disappointed. Okay, time to switch Raichu out of the lead.
Pikachu! What's this? Max Repel. Okay. I don't use those either, so whatever. Hi there. Let's see what Pokemon you have. I'm guessing it's a water type. Beauty Nora. Cloyster! I was right. Well, half right. It's a water ice type. So it's actually both super effective and not very effective against me. Because ice can eliminate grass. Yeah! Cloyster, you're down. You're done. Oh no, my pearls were in that Pokemon. Some of the dialogue in here is just too ridiculous. Hi there! Hi there, Pud. Hi there, Bud. Trading Pokemon? You know what's cool and hip? Trading Pokemon. Or something like that. I don't know what he said. Ace Trainer Marty. Sends out Golem. Oh, this is good. Golem! Violet, go! Pedal Dance! Why has he only got two Pokemon in his Pokemon at level 45? That's the same on this route. Okay. Whatever. Golem is eliminated. 1002. And Pinsir. I'm gonna switch... Chaos. Because Pinsir is a buck type. Forty-six. Stepping it up, I see. Ah. Bye. I said trade, not battle. Ah <laughs> ha <laughs> Uh oh, I'm probably gonna go and in right into the battle, aren't I? Nope. Hi. Beating Melissa. Sea King. Okay. I have all six of my Pokemon. What do you have? You have a Sea King, which is down. And what else do you have? You have... Whoa, what? Uh, can't say I expected that, but I have an answer to it. I have an answer to it, but I didn't expect that one. Jinx. A Jinx held by a swimmer. Okay. That's weird. Jinx held by a swimmer. That's... Strange. An ice psychic type held by a swimmer, which they usually do water types. Oh, you survived, of course. Ice beam. This is gonna hurt. Yep. That hurt. Let's do silly. Dazzling gleam. Dazzling gleam. Brrr. Gotcha. Alright. Barrier. Is level 53. Nice. Hydro is level 53 as well. Nice. Wait, you're supposed to wait. I'm supposed to wait for what? Hey, look! Concrete! Over there! Let's go to the concrete! Blech. And we have now set foot into Cinnabar Island. Let's go to the Pokemon Center right away. Let me see. I think we can do a little bit of exploring in this episode. Since we're 
we're 20 minutes in, but I'd say since Cinnabar Island's not really that big and we get, got another p place to explore, I'd say we look around town. There's key in the old mansion. Hi, do you have lots of friends? People say... Da, da, da. Trading. Hi, bug catcher. Hmm. There's supposed to be someone in here that'll trade. Are you interested in dark type Pokemon? There we go. If you have a Grimer, maybe I could trade my dark type Grimer for it. Yes. 15. Offer as a trade. Trade. Heh. Have you made up your mind? Okay, let's make a deal. Didn't think you would reference such a classic show, Darko. Of course, your name is Darko for a dark type trainer. Alolan Grimer. Nice. Poison Dark type. Nice. <laughs> dark type Gri Grimer are pretty cute, aren't they? Uh, whatever floats your boat, dude. Sorry, I'm trying to get notes out too while doing this. Okay. So let's take a look at our new Grimer. Oh, actually, let's take a look at Articuno first, because I never looked at Articuno. Hmm. You've got plus speed minus special attack. Yeesh. I would say plus special attack or special defense minus attack is best. Why do all my legendary Pokemon have such crappy abilities? Jeez. I mean, have such crappy, um... You know what I mean. So, Lolan Grimer. Let's take a look at this one. Bite, Screech, Crunch, and Acid Armor is your starting move set. Plus speed minus special attack. Again, ouch. Grimer are not really known for their speed. So, that's really bad. But, Alolan Grimer! So, what's really neat about these Pokemon that you get traded from this guy are that they can evolve in one level. You get them at level 44 and they evolve in one level. So, it's really good to get this if you want an Alolan Muck. So, I'm not going to describe that much for Alolan Grimer, but Alolan Muck is... Let's go with Alolan Muck. Alolan Muck is decently good. It's oddly colored. And that's why I kind of like it, because of the coloration. Because the colors actually go and move throughout Alolan Muck's body. Does that make it up for it being a good Pokemon? Not really, but it's still decently good. As you guys probably know, I'm not the, that big of a fan of poison types. I'm much a bigger fan of psychic, ghost, dark, and um, fighting. And Alolan Muck doesn't really do anything to stand out. It's still good, but it doesn't do anything to stand out above the crowd. This is only if you're playing uh, Let's Go Pikachu. If you're playing Let's Go Eevee, however, you would get Alolan Meowth here. So, like Alolan Grimer, Alolan Meowth will evolve in one level. And it'll evolve into Alolan Persian. Alolan Persian is just a plain dark type, but it's just like with regular Persian, it's there's nothing really to stand it out from the crowd. 
There's not really anything special about it. There's not really anything not special about it. It's got a good move. It's got good move sets, but it's just one of those Pokemon that I'm more so like, eh, it exists. All right, back to what we were doing. So, let's look at the other places that we can find here. Cinnabar Lab. Sweet. Perfect. So, what I want to do over here... Not go through the first door, but go through the second door. I think. I think that's where I need to go. I'm so busy, I need never to breathe. Certainly no time for children. Talking to children. Okay. Which guy is it? Wait, I accidentally wrote on the board with a permanent marker. <laughs> That's funny. Come on, come at me. I'm a scientist that's been working without sleep for rest. You really think I can stand a chance? Sorry to taunt you that, like that all of a sudden. I haven't slept in days. Here, forgive me. TMO2 Taunt. Allows your opponent to use only moves that cause damage. So if your opponent likes buffing certain stats like attack or speed, you can use that so they will not be able to use those moves. Oh, it's this one that I need to go to. I think. Yeah. Fossils! Maybe when I become a fossil, they'll revive me in the distant future. Uh, okay. I, I am an important doctor. Yes, very well known indeed. Here I study Pokemon fossils. You have fossil for me? Dome fossil. Let's get give him that. Shall I use it to revive again? Here, give it here. <clears throat> Success! The fossil was a Kabuto as I thought. Got Kabuto from the doctor. If you want the Pokemon to actually be viable, Kabuto actually evolves in one level here. And you can also do the old Amber that we got from Pewter City a while ago. And this Pokemon, Aerodactyl, can actually be used right away. I think they both start at level 44 instead of the original games where they started at level 5 this late in the game so yeah much more useful much more useful much more useful than the previous games Kabuto level 44 starts with Aqua Jet which is a really good move Rock Throw, Sand Attack which is okay and Rock Slide Pretty decent starting move set, and then Aerodactyl has Rock Throw, Agility, Crunch, and Rock Slide. Oh, that's not a good nature. Plus Defense, minus Attack. If it was the opposite, I would probably think it's good, but no. Plus Special Attack, minus Attack. It's it's really equal, so those that's actually okay. Get out of all these menus. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in this room, though. I don't think there is. I don't think there's anything in the first room here. The sofa is soft and comfortable. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. Fire hydrant! Hi! What's this? This is a photo of Dr. the Cinnabar Lab's founder, Dr. Fuji. Huh! Dr. Fuji is the person we met back in Lavender Town. Let me see here. Is there anything else to look at? Let's look at the Mart. I think I need to sell some stuff, though. 
Yep. Three big pearls. Nuggets, three. Not bad. Pearl, one. Not bad. Star piece, sell that. Uh, what else? Candies. Okay. How much are these? 175, not worth it. Alright. That's it. That's about it. Alright. And here's the gym, so... As you can see, the door is locked. There's a message written in small letters on the door. Quiz time! Where's the key that'll lead you to this gym? Hint, the answer is found somewhere in the in a building that is overgrown with greenery. Hmm, I wonder what. I wonder where. Oh, item. Antidote! Now, we could technically go north to another route, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go and end it off here. And next time, we're going here with the building that's overgrown with greenery, the Pokemon Mansion. See you guys then.